Wow. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon, y'all. Uh, good evening. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I want to read this story to you because a lot of us, um, especially I know I have, I think I even did um, a video about it. A lot of us really, really expressed how um, just nerve wracking and how crazy the 4th of July can be with these people um, throwing up all types of um, fireworks when they could go clearly to the park somewhere safe. Um, they'll do it in congested neighborhoods where they're in a position where they can burn down somebody's house. So you already know the kind of people that live in your neighborhood, okay, because you know where you live. Okay, so um, in some communities, this kind of stupid, ignorant stuff doesn't happen. Okay, I'm just going to keep it plain. Now, I want to share this article with you guys that, that was taken from the Daily Mail. And it was Sunday, July 19th. Uh, so, today. Shatavia Walls, 33, died on Friday, succumbing to her wounds sustained on July 7th when she was shot by a man. Um, she asked to stop setting off fireworks. Oh, that could have easily been me because I couldn't take it this past year. On July 7th, around 8.30 p.m., she and her companion asked the man to stop setting off illegal uh, pyrotechnics in their neighborhood in Brooklyn. The man left and returned with a gun and hit walls eight times. Last month, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams said New Yorkers should settle fireworks dispute themselves rather than to call the police. See what I'm saying? This is the kind of world we live in. New York, New York saw three times as many shootings in the last two weeks of July compared to the same um, amount in 2019. Okay, you got people pent up with this corona. You got people who are just uh, crazy. Y'all don't want to say, y'all say it don't got nothing to do with the 5G. All right. Something is driving these people mad. And, um, you know, is this is, this makes no sense. I mean, she was hit all these times because she asked somebody to stop. Uh, I mean, anyway. We can and never will condone any kind of violence, said uh, Eric Adams, borough president. My heart goes out to her family on this horrific accident. Adams spoke in a news conference urging people to settle their uh, fireworks disputes among themselves, saying the first line of interaction when it comes to non-criminal behavior should be between the neighbors. If a situation escalates to the point where someone is being disrespectful or violent, then the police should be called. We can never and never will condone any form of violence. The person who shot Ms. Wall must be found and held criminally responsible. Uh, the sad part is we have people who can't afford to go emotionally one step deep because soon as they feel insulted or disrespected they coming back blasted they don't have the wherewithal to say okay this person disagrees with me we just have a difference of opinion fine they're so belittled and feel so disrespected by the lifestyle that they've been living and by the position that uh, a white supremacy has put them in that they are a lot. I'm using this as an excuse. I'm just telling you what it is. That psychologically they can't they can't take anybody saying anything to them, not any kind of any form of correction, any shape, form, or fashion. That is a serious problem. So I want to give my condolences to the, to this family as well. Um, and, you know, I just hope that we do a better job 
at talking. Because this is uh this is not how any of this shit works. And uh, rest in peace, Shatavia Walls. May your family be comforted at some point.